So there's another one, another good sized one right there. And coming down this log here, there's another beauty right there. Another really good sized one. Found just found a couple more really good sized ones. Look at those. Oh my goodness. And look at that one over there as well. Welcome to Utah Mushroom Hunter. My name is Blaine Washburn and I am going up to the Hyuenas again today to look for some Gyromitra Montana, it's the false morels. And a few weeks back, close to three weeks ago, I did this a little bit lower elevation, about 8,500 feet. And, uh, and I'm gonna go back and start in the exact same area. But I wanna work my way up the mountain today. Wanna end up about 9,000, 9,500 feet, something like that. There's still snow up in the tops of the mountains when you get in the higher elevations. And uh, so um, I'm curious to see if there's any down at the 8,500 mark. Uh, you know, that's the same place I was there three weeks ago. And we were finding some great uh, uh, Gyro Metro Montana's uh, on that day. So I'm just curious to see if they're still there. And, uh, and, and I definitely want to get up in the higher elevation to see what I find up there as well. Anyway, let's see what I find. I'm here uh, super early. I'm starting at about 7.30 a.m. Mosquitoes are out like crazy. But here's my first Gyromitra. Just found my first one. All right, so I just found that one as well. This one's a lot darker, but it's because of the age. Looking at that stem, you can still tell it's the Gyromitra Montana and not the Gyromitra Escalante. It's because of the way that that stem is. The Escalante has more of a single stem instead of convoluted the way this one is. And the Escalante also is hollow inside. And this one here, you can see that it's all wrapped together. So that is definitely a Gyro Mitra Montana. This is the area that I had looked a couple weeks back. And uh, there was a bunch of young ones. And I think we're kind of at the end of the season in this area. Because I am not, I only found that very first one that was younger. And here's a couple more that I just found that are small and they are getting older. So uh, I might, um, I might just uh, finish up here and go to a little bit higher elevation. I'm probably about 8,500 feet here. I probably need to get above 9,000, maybe 9,500 feet. Maybe I can find some fresher ones. So here's an interesting spot. You can see these mushrooms that are right here. And there is another guy, Romitra Montana, and this one's younger. This one actually looks a lot better, <laughs> but it's also right next to the car carcass of it looks like maybe a hawk. Um, and uh, but anyway, that gives me hope that maybe I can still find some. I'm still in the lower elevations, about 8,500 feet in elevation, I'm guessing. And uh, you know, I probably should say too that this year's a little bit different, it's July 1st, and uh, normally. Gyromitra Montanas aren't at this elevation. Usually they're long gone, but we had the later spring, the cooler spring, the heavier snowpack, and so, uh, so this year we're finding them just a little bit later. I'll keep looking, but that is a, a really nice looking Gyromitra Montana. You know, this is actually a bit of a honey hole I just found here. Look at that, my, that Gyromitra right there. It looks like I it's me I stepped on something there, but you got to Gyromitra Montana right there. You've got one right down here. These are good size and they're in good condition and not too old. And then coming back up here, there's a really nice one right there as well. Oh, and there's another one right there. Beautiful, so that's five or six of them right in this spot. Okay, so we did pretty good down in the lower elevation, about 8,500 feet. Uh, super happy with it. Um, they, the Gyromitras were getting a little bit old in that area, so now I'm up in the, in the um, higher elevation, and this is probably, I'm guessing, um, 9,500 feet in elevation, something close to that. And as you can see in the background, there's still a little bit of snow on, on the uh, mountain, and so this looks like it's going to be a really good area. I'm going to go ahead and start looking here. Well, gosh, you know, I'm, I, I, this is right where I... Um, I had uh, made that last little clip uh, starting to look in this higher elevation and lo and behold 
I look down and I'm already finding some. Looks like there's one right there. Looks like a good one. And got another one right over here. Nice. Good start. There's another small one right here in this area. We got one right over there, right under there as well. There are quite a few right here. I think I'm going to do really well today. Looking in this area here, next to these snow banks here. And look at that, that's a beautiful one right there. I am finding these kind of mushrooms all over in this area, along with the, the snow banks. And uh, come over here and look at this. Look at that. So this is bona fide proof. By the way, there's some over there too. Oh, and up along there too. Bona fide proof that these are true snowbank mushrooms. <laughs> They're literally grown right on the edges of the snowbank and probably were covered by snow a couple days ago. There's another one. And there's that one as well, right next to the snowbank. Just found one of these. It's a little puffball. Um, might even be what pe some people call earth balls. But that is an edible. And that'll, when I, if I break that open, that'll be pure white. It'll be perfect. Here's an area with a few of those earth balls. You can see there's one right there. There's a little baby one right there, which I won't take, obviously. And there's one that a critter's been eating on. And there's one over here. Those are the three larger ones out of about five that I saw in that area. Okay, let's see if you can see this one. This one is a massive Gyromitra montana that I saw clear back a ways away from it. Oh, that is a beauty. Look at that. Oh, that's a good one. That's the best one I found today so far. Nice. There's what that one looked like once I harvested it. Super nice. Look at this one hiding right down under there. Found just found a couple more really good sized ones. Look at those. Oh my goodness. And look at that one over there as well. Oh, those are gorgeous. All right, let me show you what I'm doing with these. Uh, you gotta be super careful with these because uh, they're so fragile. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to cut enough of them where I can turn them over. Look, yeah, this one is too. See, look how dirty that is. So I cut all this out because that's gonna turn into grime when you eat it. So I'm cutting all that out. But that, oh, that is an awesome, Awesome, Gyromitra, Montana. Nice big fleshy one. Just gorgeous. Uh, boy, that uh, second one was absolutely gorgeous as well. Wow, these are good ones. Look how fun that is. This tall tree out in the middle of the forest. There's an eagle's nest up there. And if we turn around right here, there are Two more Gyromitra Montana. There they are. Look at this fun spot. I got one right there. I've got a ring of them right up over here. How fun is that? There's so many of these small ones. I'm going to quit showing them. And I'm only going to show you when I find big ones. This is another good area. They're just a little bit smaller. There's, a, there's another nice one. Okay, so here's a honey hole. There's a really good size one. That is definitely softball size. There's a little one there. There's one right over there. Look what's over here. There's a good one there, a good one there, a good one there. And there's my new biggest of the day. That is a monster. That is almost volleyball sized. Holy cow. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this one. Uh, I'm gonna harvest it on film. Uh, it's huge 
And again, living proof that these are true snowbank mushrooms. It's right against the snowbank. So I'm gonna clear this off just a little bit. Oh, that's huge. Clean this bottom. Get all that dirt section off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is huge. It's not quite volleyball size, but it is the biggest of the day. That is gorgeous. There's another good size one. Not as big as that last one, but good size. There's another one right out right by the snow. All right, so there's another one. Another good size one right there. And coming down this log here, there's another beauty right there. Another really good size one. And there's some more. Okay, so what I'm learning is that they are way more fruitful. There's a lot more of them at this higher elevation. They're everywhere. Oh, here's another little jackpot. You can see how many there are here in this spot. Someone kicked that one over. Those ones are great ones. There's one of these puff balls with a little bit better size to them. Not bad, looks like a little critter's been munching on it. That's a good one. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of uh, looking for Gyromitra Montana's up in the Hyuenas. Um, ended up being a lot of fun. I searched in two different areas. One area uh, close to maybe 8,500 feet in elevation. And then in the second area was closer to 9,500 feet in elevation, something close to that. And the second area ended up being a lot better. There's a lot more there. And I searched uh, uh, really wet areas. And they seem to do better on the flat and also the slightly north facing areas. Those are the areas that uh, they're the best in. So, but it was a good day. I found, I literally found hundreds and hundreds of the Gyromitra Montana today. It was so much fun. And I didn't keep that many. I uh, only kept enough to, to make a few really yummy meals, but they're gonna be delicious. I mean, these Gyromitra are delicious. And just to remind everybody, uh, you don't wanna eat these raw. You cannot eat these raw, they're toxic raw. They've gotta be cooked well. But if you cook them well, they are a choice edible. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's episode. We will see you in the next.